Okay, yep, it's recording. Hello everyone, this is Trey from Tech Sports TV. Yeah, this is a uh, recording, screen recording, you know, what I've been doing lately. But uh, I just want to show you this article. It's just a bit more proof of just the fact that, again, the trade had nothing to do with money. Because here we go. Tunzel agrees to a 66 million three-year deal. That's 22 per year, 22 mil per year. Against, what was it, Hopkins 11 mil that he was getting paid at the time. That would have been 11 mil for the next three years. Now, I am good that we did sign him uh, longer. He is a pretty good. Uh, he seemed to be. Uh, what was it? He got had two. He protected. Yep, protected uh, Watson. But he did have quite a few penalties called for him, I believe. Unless it was the different. Uh, you, you know, a different lineman. But no, I believe it was Tunsil that had a lot of. But a, you know what? Uh, he's a 25, pretty young, uh, and he uh, left tackle. He's young, yeah, protected Watson. I'm glad we signed him. Glad we extended his contract. And the linemen really is important. Okay, other than the quarterback, linemen are extremely important. You need to give the quarterback some time. And if you we get a couple good uh, linemen there. Or three, uh, Watson is so good at maneuvering the pocket and getting away from defenders, uh, trying to sack them. Uh, it's not like we need to get a whole army of the best out there. We just need to get some pretty good linemen, uh, and just like two or three. I would like three. And yeah, Stunt has played well. He just needs to work on his foul, uh, not foul trouble. Yeah, foul trouble penalties uh costing the team because those penalties on um, first down or you know on good drives we're driving down the field and then we get a penalty those have been costly i mean if we limit those the offense can be a whole lot better and if we get some good linemen uh to give watson enough time to find some open uh, receivers it's really really good so i hope we uh I don't know what trade stock we have for next year. We don't have a first round pick next year, but uh, we could find a way to get another li good lineman, maybe in free agency. Uh, so at some point in the year, maybe some sort of trade we can figure out. Uh, I really don't like the idea of a trade because Bill O'Brien has a bad history with trades. But, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I'm glad we got signed, but it's just more proof once again. It was never about the money with Hopkins. And yes, we're gonna be Hopkins is gonna be talked about for a really long while, especially since this is a deep wide receiver draft.